What's going on guys? Make sure you guys cop your 8 milli merch. It's actually really comfortable. I'm not even trying to sell you. But in this video, I'm gonna be going over how you can earn your first ever college basketball offer. Before we dive into this, make sure you hit that like button. And there's too many people that are watching my videos that are not subscribed. Make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, it helps. Let's get into it. So the first thing we wanna do is be realistic about what level we can play at right now. That doesn't mean you can't work for Division One. that doesn't mean you can't work to play for Duke, but you need to be realistic and find out what level you can play at right now. Talk to your high school coach, talk to your AAU coach, find out what level they think you can play at um, get multiple opinions and kind of understand where you're at now. What do you want out of the academic school side of it? It's not just about basketball. You're going to want to enjoy your experience outside of basketball too. It makes the world of a difference. So then I would go straight to the piece of paper and I would write down all the schools I would consider going to. All right, I'm not even going to lie guys. I haven't done anything all day and I'm feeling super lazy. So we're going to go to the court and get some shots up. Let's get back into it. So, we have our colleges written down. Now, what do we need to do? We need to email the coaches. Email is the next key. Uh, it'll always be an asset for athletes, whether it be trying to go professional or, I mean, it's just how people still communicate. It seems ancient to you guys, but coaches use email every day. They're, they will see your email. Now, what do you need to do to separate yourself from all those hundreds of other emails they get a day? Let's get into that. So what should your email consist of? The first thing you need to do is go to your high school and ask for your transcripts. First things first, if you can't get accepted in the school, they're not interested in you, you shouldn't be interested in that school. So first things first, get your transcript. Then if you have any film whatsoever, uh, even if it's a few clips, even if it's a workout of you, preferably game film obviously, but any film you have on yourself to put and attach to that email would be great. Our grades, we have our film. Now, stats. Stats, in my opinion, should not be put in the email unless you can offer a credible source that confirms those stats. So for high school, it's like max preps. Um, if you can confirm your stats or if somebody can confirm it for you, that's just my opinion. You can go ahead and throw it in there if you would like to, but I don't think a college coach will take it serious unless there's some kind of credibility and confirmation behind those stats. So that's the easy part. Email, blah, blah, blah. It's easy to sell yourself uh, online. We know that. Now we got to go perform at a workout. They're going to invite you to play open gym slash workout. They're going to want a skills workout before, then you're probably going to play open gym afterwards. This is how tons of schools do it, not how everybody does it, but from my experience, that's, that's how it works. So now it's time to work out, and I hope you're in shape because they're going to test your conditioning like crazy. Every school will do it, every coach will do it. That is probably the number one thing that you're going there for in terms of the workout. If they invited you for a workout, they like your skill set, they like the physical aspects about you, they want to see, one, are you in shape? And two, can you work through being tired? So you're definitely, definitely going to be tested in your workout. The final level, we're at the open gym. This is when you may start getting nervous. It's time to play open gym with the guys. Um, and by the guys, I mean the, the team at the college. And the biggest thing for you to realize right now is you don't have to be Michael Jordan. Just understand your role. Understand your role. If you're a shooter, shoot when you're open, pass when you're not. Do not try to be James Harden if you can't dribble. You know what you can and can't do. Um, you're gonna need to defend, obviously. If, if you rebound the ball really well, put tons of energy into rebounding the ball. Do whatever you need to do. You don't need to be Michael Jordan at this open gym. You don't need to score every bucket. You need to do something well, though. You need to, you need to do something that's valuable to the team. So rebounding is valuable. Scoring is valuable. Uh, assists are valuable. Hustle is valuable. Just find something that you're good at and do, do that. It is very simple, uh, but it goes over a lot of guys' heads and they end up going to the open gym 
and just doing all this stuff and shooting and they just look like not only does a coach look at you foolish but the players are going to look at you foolish i've been a part of this i played college basketball i witnessed tons of recruits come and go and there was only a handful that i was like wow like we need to offer this kid he's good i like him so if you do those few things you email the coach your grades are good you have some stats you have film you show up to the workout, you're in shape, you understand your role at the open gym, all those things, you can be walking out of that visit with a full offer. Thank you guys for watching this video. I just want to shout out to Bunny's Pro Vertical Program. I'm going to leave the link in the description. They're currently doing a Thanksgiving deal. It's half off for a nine-week program. It's $14.99. It's honestly a no-brainer. I've been on it. I'm on week three. I don't know if you guys can tell in the videos, but my vertical has gone up. So if you want to make a little investment in yourself for a nine-week program, $14.99, pretty good deal. I'm going to leave that link in the description. I'm also going to leave the merch link in the description if you guys are interested. And uh, T-shirt, hoodie, phone case, hats, all that good stuff. Fan arc hooked it up. But other than that, guys, um, oh, G League. G League. The Kings emailed me yesterday or the day before. And um, they said there's going to be a tenant. There's a tentative date for January 1st, so that is subject to change. I told my TikTok audience you might have already, you might know this, you might not. But yeah, I just wanted to tell the YouTube fam January 1st. Don't lock it in yet, but that's a potential date. So that's our update. But yeah, like this video, share it with your friends. Thank you guys for the support. Peace.